First round action at Indian Wells gets underway on Wednesday. Emma Raducanu and Andy Murray have both discovered how their respective Indian Wells bids will start off with preparation now well underway for the first round proper. There will be no Novak Djokovic at the BNP Paribas Open, however, after the Serb was denied entry into the United States due to his vaccination status. Raducanu has been dealt an early curveball, with the 20-year-old needing to beat the player who got the best of her at last year's Australian Open. Donka Kovinic, if her Indian Wells dream is to survive beyond Wednesday's first round. The pair's only previous matchup came in Melbourne just over a year ago, when Raducanu battled valiantly through blisters on her right hand before ultimately losing in three sets. If the Brit can overcome the world number 62, a daunting tie with Polish star Magda Lynette would await after her bye to the second round. Subsequent projected ties against Beatriz Haddad Maya in round 3 and top seed Iga Swiatek in the round of 16 also make for uncomfortable reading, while Raducanu would hypothetically avoid second seed Arena Sabalenka until the final. Over on the men's side of the draw, Murray has been handed a dose of good news by avoiding many of his scariest potential opponents. The 35-year-old will face World World No. 61 Tomas Martin Echeverri for a chance to face Pablo Carreno Busta in the second round. Things could then get tasty for Murray as a tie against one of his countrymen, Dan Evans or Jack Draper, would likely await unless a qualifier springs a surprise against the British duo. Evans and fellow Brit Cameron Norrie have both been given buys to the second round along with top seed Carlos Alcaraz, reigning champion Taylor Fritz and another heavy hitter in Daniil Medvedev. Fans may have to wait for a potential heavyweight matchup at Indian Wells as Alcaraz and Medvedev are only projected to meet in the final. Alcaraz goes into the ATP Masters 1000 event as the top seed following Djokovic's withdrawal on the eve of the draw. The 22-time Grand Slam champion is unvaccinated from COVID-19 and was not granted special permission to compete in California. Djokovic missed last year's US Open for the same reason, while he was allowed to travel to Australia, 12 months after his controversial deportation to win his 10th Aussie Open title back in January. The veteran admitted that his Indian Wells hopes were up in the air after his semi-final defeat to Medvedev at the Dubai Tennis Championships on Friday, saying, If there's no America, I guess I'll play clay. Monte Carlo is probably the next tournament. If that's the case, I'll take some time off, I'll prepare, 